New tonight, a new CDC study shows an increase of deaths related to psychostimulant drugs like meth. The inexpensive drug drives users to lose their minds. A disturbing sight seen right here in San Antonio. Fox San Antonio's David Caltabiano shows you the price people are paying. From the second you pick it up, you won't want to stop. It's an all-consuming drug. It's always going to be a lot of drug activity in this area. This drug will take over your life and you won't even know it. Branding its victims. Borderline uh, high in a psychosis. Methamphetamine has made a home out of San Antonio, destroying families and lives. People dying out here. <laughs> I started to really do things that I said I would never do. Well, I'll never use in front of my kids. I'll never do sexual favors for it. I'll never pay for it. Valerie Salas remembers days without eating. In and out of psych wards, in and out of the hospital. Losing her mind. Waking up at the hospital, like, after trying to kill myself. Staying in the homes of abusive drug dealers. They would literally have me strip naked, yell at me, like, swearing I had taps on me and I'd, I'd be there crying to them. Her addiction started after the state took her kids away following a domestic violence incident that helped fuel a vicious cycle of meth use. Now Valerie is driving around San Antonio with her friend Ira trying to help others under the grip of drugs. This is definitely my area right here uh, where I was introduced to, to meth. He's shown us the motel where his life spiraled out of control. A lot of pain out here. Some have lost years, others have lost everything. But there is hope in this city. Recovering drug addicts taking the lead to help the hopeless reclaim their lives. And so the ladies come in here sometimes. On the city's north side, Freedom House, an all-female sober living home. Getting off this drug is very tough. Nine out of the ten women that live here are recovering from meth addiction. Talk about things in recovery. Valerie McDonald, who once struggled with addiction herself, opened the house for them. It's her way of helping others kick their meth habit. And it saved my life, right? So I just, I've really um, come to dedicate my life to helping these women. Sabrina Casieja was just 17 years old when her meth addiction changed her life for the worse. All because I wanted to try meth. But now she's six months clean with goals of helping others. When, when I see the transformation in people, when I help them, and it's like, it's awesome. Like, I just love helping others. Back to Valerie and Ira. Their road to redemption still underway. Valerie, five years sober, and Ira coming up on three and a half months clean. Each day is a small victory. Each addict's struggle is a new challenge for sobriety. Now Valerie has regained full custody of her kids. She now works at Haven for Hope, where she helps other addicts get off the street. Ira is still clean, proud to be working at a local restaurant. And tomorrow night, car chases, drug raids, and arrests. We show you how rural county sheriffs are fighting an uphill battle to stop the spread of meth from coming into our city. Only on Fox News at 9.